In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You and I live in a land that is still quite tolerant of our faith when compared to the Roman Empire at the time of Peter. At that time, Emperor Nero was in power, and he was emperor who started the first empire-wide persecution of Christians. You see, not only were Christians strangers to the unbelievers around them, simply because that is the natural reaction of the sinful heart to children of God, Christians were also strangers legally. Christianity was an illegal religion. So if you were caught practicing your faith in Christ, you could be fined, you could lose your property, be arrested, even thrown in the arena with wild animals or fight the gladiators, a certain death sentence. These are all terrible and shocking things, but Peter writes, Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. Just think how quickly the unbelieving world treated God's people as strangers. The first brothers ever born, Cain and Abel, show us what would be the standard until the end of time. Cain fell from faith, and because he hated God, he also hated his grew to hate his brother Abel, who belonged to God through faith. Cain seemed to skip over all other forms of persecution and went straight to murdering his own brother. And why? Because to him, Abel was a stranger. Abel did not belong to the unbelieving world like he did. Friends, you and I, we are strangers here, so it is not strange to suffer. And instead of being surprised, Peter writes, Rejoice inasmuch as you participate in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed when his glory is revealed. If you are insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. For the spirit of glory and of God rests on you. If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any other kind of criminal, or even as a meddler. However, if you suffer as a Christian, do not be ashamed, but praise God that you bear that name. Now, Peter isn't saying that we rejoice in the pain of suffering. There's no joy in pain itself. Pain is just pain. We rejoice because in little ways, we share in the same suffering Christ, our Savior, suffered. Now, Peter, of course, is not saying that we suffer for our sins. Christ did that once for all. Peter is talking about the suffering Jesus faced because he was the greatest stranger of them all. The joy is that we get to suffer for our Savior's sake, just like he suffered for us, although to a far lesser degree. We are blessed because we suffer pain with Christ, marking us as Christians. It is added proof that we do belong to God, that the Holy Spirit does live in our hearts through faith. We rejoice because we are promised that one day we will be overjoyed when God's glory is revealed on the last day, when Jesus comes to take us home. Friends, this is why we do not have to be ashamed and should never be ashamed when people treat us as strangers in this world. Rather, praise your God that you bear the name of your Savior. You are a Christian. Amen.